And this is Casa Esmeralda. Hi, this is Tony and Lati at Casa Esmeralda. Lati is right there. Um, he's just getting up. So, anyways, uh, it, I haven't made a video in a while. It has been a really rough winter. I never would have uh, expected it to be that bad of an Adriatic winter. Uh, it said it snowed in Africa and I can see the haze of Africa from my house. I'm right in the southern tip of mid-central Italy living on a plateau in the Campania. Um, I basically ran out of wood. I had uh, two cords of wood that I basically in a couple weeks went through. I was without water for 14 days. Uh, I did have reserve water. Uh, the reserve water ran out after 14 days. I had to leave the house and I was told the water was still going to come on in a couple days. Um, so it has not been very good. I had to go and uh, chop wood for 20 days straight. I'd never had a day off. I was hauling logs up to my house in the snow and chopping them. Uh, I did get a new chainsaw just right um, before Christmas. I brought it down here after Christmas. I had the chainsaw running still uh, for four and a half hours and I chopped a lot of wood within that four hours. I'm not the type of person who likes to use a chainsaw and chop wood. I like to do everything by hand. But when you start to freeze and the temperature's at zero or you got Adriatic blowing wind coming to you and it's freezing cold, um, and it's snowing outside and you have to go outside in the storm and chop wood just so you can stay hot. Um, it is not very fun. It's just to do something like that, you know, you need to be pretty brave and dress really warm and just go chop wood. And basically for a whole week, I never really saw a lot of sunshine, just here and there. Normally where I live, the sun does come out in midday. And I did have, uh, I think there was like two nice days in the afternoon of the sunshine where it did warm up. And nighttime, it just snowed again. So for a good week, it was just really awful cold weather at my house. So after that, um, up until last week now, so we're like the second week of January. Uh, last week I did get a pellet still from my house. There is, or I would just be chopping wood and cutting wood and I'm not a type of person who likes to cut down a lot of trees. It's just, it hurts me that I have to cut down so many trees or cut so much from nature that I have to like take so much from nature and I'm not giving back to it and that really hurts me when I cannot give back to something but nature is very giving and I'm grateful for what I've got um, I still have lots of oranges I have lots of grapefruits that I'm eating uh, I'm gonna make another video I'm just waiting on one of my neighbors here or something I do not have a car I'm still waiting to get my car uh, so I've been living here for five months and I've been waiting to get my car sent to me on a ship container I just did that like last month like when I went back to Canada uh, they said the port shut down. I was in Napoli last week trying to figure out where my car is, everything. So they told me in sometime mid-February you're going to get your car. So it has not been very fun. I live like six kilometers, Pasticci, six kilometers, Bernalda, and hour and a half by bicycle, Marconia. Either way, it takes me an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back on the bicycle and it's all hills and it's grinding and if I'm resupplying I, I'm on the bike cart and 
I'm going up and down these hills like you know at least the 30 25 kilo load so it's something you know it's a real test of well and everything that I'm sort of doing here to myself this is I thought moving here would be pretty easy the weather would be great and nice but this winter it hasn't and I've really tested myself my ability and everything on how I'm actually going to live out in the country way out in the countryside in the basically middle of nowhere uh, Italy sort of thing without a car so this is the thing that's going on so I uh, I have not been able to go outside today it's just been heavy rain off and on I have logs sitting beside me in my house that if I started up the chainsaw it would just I would use uh, more fuel and more wood drying out the wet wood from cutting it up in the rain so I got the pellet stove going it's great it keeps running all night but it does use electricity so one thing that I've been looking into is power generator or something if anybody has any ideas on a cheap efficient power generator uh, wind generator or something of that sort uh, just drop me a line or a link or something please uh, the pellet stove is nice but now uh, I do have an emergency three-day supply of wet that I never really touch because if something does happen to me or if I do get sick or, or anything that three-day supply is gonna help me maybe somebody will come to my house because normally somebody does come by my house about every three days I see about two or three people a week that's about it where I live so people kind of come by Italian friendship sort of thing and hey sort of you know really nice and check on me and see how I'm doing so the pellet stove is nice I'm loaded up with pellets uh, I'm loaded up with gas. I did get uh, before it was just too cold before Christmas, so I did get a little mini gas uh, heater, and I did manage to rent a car a little bit uh, for a week and sort of load up my house, resupply my house with some gas and stuff. But the Gillow gas stove only runs about 60 hours, 70 hours maximum on low so and the gas is about 20 euros a tank so I can really blow through a lot the pellet stove uh, depends and in a full 24 hour run I go through about a 15 kilo bag on low or easy going or if I don't really run it all the time and I'm still kind of staying warm but I do have to put my winter clothes on just so I kind of stay a little bit above 20 degrees in my house. Um, as for my garden right now, uh, the snow kind of wiped out a lot of it. I didn't have a lot of plastic covering or anything. I wasn't really that much prepared. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But my celery is the last vegetable that has actually managed to stay around. And I'm hoping that this celery will kind of just come back a little bit because it is a, a very hardy German celery where it, things sort of grow in very cold conditions. Uh, there was two foxes here. Um, I talked to my Italian neighbor and uh, he helped me take care of that because he literally just chewed up my whole vegetable garden. I went to visit my Italian neighbor today and it's 14 degrees in his house and he's like this a brave old Italian guy and he's sitting by a fireplace and chair and he's just sitting there all day and he says I'm waiting for summer it's it's pretty amazing actually living out here seeing like these old Italian people they lived here for like all their lives and they have like handmade shovel handles and axes and they're just doing everything by hand in the summertime. It's just amazing to watch them. And and then I visit him in his house and he's got like this old coffee thing and 
So, you know, and he's just sitting there by the fire. He says, no, don't go over there. Just, just come here, sit by the fire, and we just wait out the winter. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, this is Tony and Letty at Casa Esmeralda. New video coming up. Uh, I'm hoping to make marmalade tonight. Uh, I have a ton of grapefruits and oranges. So take care. Bye for now, and thanks for watching.